Hey, church family. I hope you all are doing well. These are certainly some interesting times that we're living in. Uh, the information stream seemingly is nonstop, and what we hear of today seemingly is changing tomorrow. But I want to encourage us, uh, as I was reminded from Psalm 46, that God is our refuge. He is a very present help in trouble. And the psalmist reminds us that therefore, even though the earth gives way, we will not fear. And so I really want to encourage you today and the weeks to come uh, to entrust yourselves to the Lord. Um, I was thinking about when we we're working our way through the Sermon on the Mount uh, several months ago, in particular where Jesus calls us not to store up treasure on earth where moth and rust destroy or thieves break in and steal. But we're not having moth and rust and we're not having steal, uh, thieves stealing things, but we are having coronavirus who's snatching things away from us that we, we might have thought we couldn't live without. Uh, but now we're learning to do without. And so I think this could be a good thing for us as a church. While we certainly wouldn't ask this to come upon us, uh, we can rest assured that the Lord is using these things to accomplish his purposes in the world and his purposes to sanctify us. And so it's been my prayer for you as a church and for my own soul and my family that we would truly begin to know what it means not to store up treasure on earth. Uh, these things do not last, but to store up our treasure in heaven and to find Christ is more uh, valuable than anything that this world has to offer and that we would really truly uh, make him our refuge. And so that's our, our prayer for you as, as your pastors have been lifting you up. And I want you to know that we're thinking through creatively. How, how do we now navigate church life when we can't gather together? Well, I just want to share some things that we're working on, thinking through, and hope to communicate here by the end of the week. But just want to give you an update real quickly. First of all, we're going to commit ourselves to uh, the continued gathering uh, via the live stream. Now, I know we had a little bit of a hiccup this past Sunday, but we've been able to work through those issues, and, and we have those things fixed that we shouldn't have problems this Sunday. But at 1030, we'll still live stream and, uh, and we're going to keep our gathering limited to only those who are actually in the service uh, doing elements. And so that's going to keep us under the number of 10 that we heard from our president just yesterday. Uh, and so we're, we're keeping in guidelines there. Uh, all other public gatherings are now going to be canceled. I assume that's where we'll go as well. But we'll continue ourselves with the live stream. Pastor Brian will be preaching this Sunday. And we hope that you can gather with us. And certainly if you need help in setting that up, please call the church office and we'll try and get some directions for you so that you can participate in that. We're also going to be planning to utilize our elder care groups and community group leaders uh, to get communication and, and a touch point with every member of our church over the next seven to ten days. We're really wanting to see how everybody's doing. Uh, we're trying to think, how do we have a touch point when we don't have our weekly gathering, at least how it's usually done. And so we're working through those measures, and you should be hearing from your pastors and community group leaders soon, uh, just reaching out to, to see how you're doing and how we can best serve you. We're also thinking creatively, how, how do we carry on discipleship when we can't meet? And so we're going to be sending out some things that, that we're working on maybe some home devotion guides, things to continue to press you into the word and even help you reflect on the sermons and, and services that are being live streamed. And then finally, church family, I want to encourage you, as I know we're all thinking about how do we get through this? Uh, how do we uh, care for our family? There's going to be a lot of concern for ourselves, and rightly so, but I, I don't want us to lose sight of our mission that this is an incredible opportunity for us to be the church, a light shining on a hill uh, for, the, for the world to see. And, and I think many people are going to be panicking. Uh, their treasures are being taken from them. But this is going to be a great opportunity for us to show where our treasure truly lies, that we have a hope that will not be shaken, a hope that will not put us to shame. 
And so what does that gospel opportunity look like for us as a church? Well, that's not quite clear at this point. What does that look like when face-to-face -face contact isn't really the thing to do? Well, I think if we continue to pray and ask the Spirit to lead us and guide us, uh, I think He will show us where that opportunity is. I encourage you to be thinking about your neighbors and those around you. Where, where could you help meet needs? Uh, where, where can you continue to show the light of the gospel? And as things continue to unfold and maybe the new normal sets in, at least for uh, the next few weeks, maybe a couple of months, I think we'll have some clarity on how we can best serve our community. Uh, and so I just ask that you would pray that uh, the Lord would show you how to, how to be active in sharing Christ uh, in whatever way that may present itself to you over the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, I just ask now that you would be praying for your pastors, be praying for your, the staff as uh, we, we try to keep up with this and get in front of it. Um, we're doing the best we can to get creative in how we minister to you. But please know that we love you, we're praying for you, and, and we are going to be reaching out to you in tangible ways uh, as we seek to continue to shepherd you through this. And we can rest assured that we will come through this. Uh, the Lord uh, has not left us, and, and the good news is, is that we do have each other. We do have the church, and what a wonderful gift the church is, even when we're not able to gather in the same ways we were before, but let us continue to entrust ourselves to the Lord, knowing that He is our refuge, uh, a help uh, in our trouble. And though the world may give way, uh, we're not called to fear, but entrust ourselves to Him. We'll be hearing you'll be hearing from us soon, and uh, and you're in our prayers. Thanks.